Today, someone you should know is an entrepreneur who is using what he learned in his first career to help others with the nonprofit that he's formed and build a special hunting lodge. Eric Thorsonson introduces us to Nick Coulterman. Nick Coulterman has spent most of his working days in the medical field. By trade, I, I'm a practitioner in orthotic and prosthetics. Uh, went to school for that about 20 years ago, moved to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and uh, have been there you know, most, most of my career. Uh, contracted with the VA healthcare systems, helped tens of thousands of veterans out in the community in the state of South Dakota. The Nebraska native also started two successful businesses. Uh, in 2012, I started a company which most people know me about. Uh, I was the Fit My Feet guy and uh, grew that company uh, to nine locations in three states over a 12-year period. Uh, in, the, in the midst of all of that, uh, as a serial entrepreneur, created an orthotic business called Souls RX. Uh, which is an insole line, which is repped across all 50 states. But nothing way. compares to what he sees uh, out here. And then off the building, there'll be a path that goes to an ADA dock. What I love and what I'm super passionate about is the outdoors. Uh, started a, a hunting uh, a lodge up here in Fedora, South Dakota. So now he's combining that with what he learned in his career. Nick started a nonprofit called Suncatcher Ministries and they recently broke ground on a fully ADA-compliant hunting lodge for disabled veterans. And actually, from research, it's the only building in the United States that is fully ADA-compliant from the ground up that is actually going to have a nursing staff on staff or caretakers. And it's going to be state-of-the-art, which we're super excited about. Building this facility, it's not just about bringing people out and hunting and fishing with them. It's about bringing people out that are disabled, especially our disabled veterans in the, in the state of South Dakota, and getting them involved in the outdoors. Because you know as well as I do, getting somebody in nature, uh, there's just something about that. Nick has gotten donations from individuals and businesses to make the project happen. And he says it'll be ready by late September. I feel very humble uh, because a part of my career has been helping thousands of these veterans over the years uh, with their feet, their knees, their hips, uh, all the issues that they had um, with, with those types of things. And so what I look at now is, is, is moving that into you know, the, the new uh, era of what we're doing in our nonprofit and it feels very rewarding. And what we vision is, is, is the giving back. And, and that's the next, the next 20 years of my life is going to be serving people. Near Fedora, Eric Thorstensen, Dakota News Now. The new building will be called the Heart of a Lion Hunting Lodge. Colterman's nonprofit Suncatcher Ministries is also used to help troubled youth. As always, if there is something you think we should all know, please email a nomination to news at dakotanewsnow.com.